is Henderson, Nevada the perfect place to live? Well, it's time to have one of those super competitive videos where we go over the pros and the cons of living here in Henderson, Nevada. And I thought, once again, I had to bring you to somewhere you didn't even know existed. And that's why I'm going to film this video here at the Ethel M Chocolate Factory and the Cactus Gardens, which are located here in Henderson, Nevada. There's so much to offer here that you didn't even know about. But this video is all about being fair. So we're gonna measure the pros and the cons of living here in Henderson, Nevada. Are you ready for another exciting video? Well, it's time for you to sit down, buckle up, and get ready because here we go. Hey everybody, it's your host here once again, Dave Baker from VegasAgents.com. Now, if it's your first time on the channel, make sure you tap that little subscribe button and smash that little bell so you'll be notified every time I put out a new video all about living here in Henderson, Nevada or Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, if it's your first time on the channel, that's okay. I'm super excited and I want you to know how to reach out to our team. If you are thinking about moving anywhere in Las Vegas, Nevada, North Las Vegas, Henderson, Boulder City, or even Mesquite, you've got to reach out to us. All you do, send us an email, send me a text message, or give me a call on the phone. You can also jump on the team's calendar by clicking the link in the description. And while you're down there, why don't you subscribe to our awesome Living in Las Vegas newsletter? Okay, today we are coming to you from Henderson, Nevada. And as I mentioned at the beginning, where am I coming to you from? I'm not just at the Ethel M Chocolate Factory, but what's even more exciting is this cool thing that they have set up here called the Cactus Garden. For those of you who aren't familiar with Ethel M, it is a, a chocolate manufacturer. They make a lot of great candies and, you know, things we love to snack on. But they have created this awesome cactus garden here in Henderson. Look, if you've been watching videos about Henderson, or even if you've been here 20 times, you might not know about all of these cool things that we have located here. But we're gonna have to save a lot of that for a dedicated video. The thing I wanted to do was make sure to bring you out here to show you some of the things you just didn't know about. Okay, so we're gonna walk around the cactus garden because what's more Las Vegas than cacti, right? But what we're gonna do in this video, and the focus is of course, talking about the pros and the cons of living here in Henderson, Nevada. Henderson is, is it Las Vegas little sister? Las Vegas little brother? Is it, what is it? How is it different than Las Vegas? Well, those are things that I've addressed in a lot of videos. And a lot of people who are thinking about moving here to Las Vegas definitely bring up Henderson. And I know why. I spend a lot of time here and there's just so much cool stuff going on. But there's also another side and that's what I'm gonna start talking to you about. So let's start this video by talking to you first about the pros of living here in Henderson, Nevada. Okay, number one, Henderson is ranked as a very safe city. So when you look at the statistics, you see that Henderson is often ranked as one of the safest cities for this population size. And personally, statistics aside, that's a feeling I get just walking down the street. And I like that, I like that safe feeling. So if safety is something on the list for you, you're going to want to take note about that in Henderson. Okay, next up is going to be that Henderson is a separate city than Las Vegas. That means Henderson has its own services and its own focus. What do I mean by its own services? I mean that you have your own police, fire, water, different things that apply to this city that do not apply to Las Vegas. I'm sure some services are shared here and there, and so, but the key thing is that Henderson has its own services. So when you think about Summerlin, which is actually part of Las Vegas, don't forget that Summerlin is not its own city. It shares things like the police, right? Like the Las Vegas Metro PD and things of that nature. Henderson is focused on the city of Henderson. It's not so heavily tourist focused like Las Vegas, which means hopefully, ideally, they spend more time with a focus on the needs of the residents. Okay, let's go to the next one on the list. This is important to me, okay? Henderson offers everything that I need to do without leaving the city. 
Henderson is not some tiny little suburb. People have asked me that before. Is it just this tiny little city right next to Las Vegas? It's not. First of all, geographically speaking, it's not tiny. Just to drive from where I had where I had breakfast today to this really cool cactus garden, it was pretty significant. I had to drive about 20 minutes, and that's coming from Eastern Avenue, which is one of the places I have mentioned in numerous Henderson videos. So what am I talking about here? Everything I need is right here in Henderson. I'm talking about an important question I ask myself when I'm trying to decide where to live. I say to myself, do I ever need to leave the city for anything that I want or that I need? With the exception of going to Ikea, which I know some of you like to shop at, generally I would say, no, you do not need to leave the city. Henderson offers all the services you're going to need if you need services, right? Like dental, you know, uh, you might need to go to a chiropractor, those types of professional services, your insurance agent, your awesome real estate team, you know, all those different things you might need. Sure, those are here. But what else does it offer? Well, it's got unlimited, I'm, I, and unlimited is a tough word. I'm going to say, I'm going to use it though. Let's go unlimited dining, unlimited cafes and coffee shops, unlimited entertainment and late night establishments. It's got movie theaters. It's got yogurt places. It's got boba drink places, tea houses. I did mention coffee, so I thought it'd be fair to mention tea as well. It has all of the shopping I could ever want from, from your major big box stores to local businesses. And there are a lot of local little shops and restaurants popping up, which I think is, is enhancing the city a lot. There are a lot of places that are not chains here. There's a lot of new food all the time. Of course, don't worry, you do get your all-you-can-eat sushi here too. That's something sometimes people bring up that I mention in my videos, but guess what? We've got it here too, okay? So Henderson has everything you need within the city. It's also got cool places like this to walk around. If you are family uh, focused, like you're looking for a place to take your family, it's got a water park, it's got gardens, it's got numerous parks, sports courts, it's got multiple aquatic centers. I don't know if you knew that, but Henderson has multiple aquatic centers for swimming. Now, what that means to me is that it offers something for families, for couples, for singles, it offers a lot of activities that you can do all within the city so that when the weekend comes and you have some free time, you can enjoy it without driving too far. Of course, if you'd like, Las Vegas is right next door, and if you want to enjoy some of those activities on the Strip or in downtown, they're not that far, it's not that inconvenient, and you do have easy access. So. Along with that, I do want to mention that you do have another freeway here that people don't think of. Most people I talk to only think of Highway 15 when coming to Las Vegas, but here we have 215, 515, and 11. So there are other roads and freeways here. Okay, lastly, I do want to talk to you about one more pro. And again, I think this is very important. Henderson offers multiple types of homes. That means that there is availability of many different types of homes to meet the needs of the citizens who live here. You've got townhomes, you've got condos, you've got one-story homes, you've got mansions that are available. You have all of these things available here in Henderson. You have a huge variety. You have gated homes, you have communities that are not gated, you have guard-gated communities, you have retirement communities, you have golf communities, you have all of that here in Henderson. So. Does that mean there's something for everybody? I'd like to hope so. All right, let's switch it up. It's time to talk about the cons of living in Henderson. What are the cons? And please leave a comment below after I mention some of these things to let me know if you actually think these are negatives or they're things that do not concern you. I'm really interested to hear what you think. So number one on my cons list is going to be there is some traffic here. The traffic that I see is primarily at rush hour on the freeway. So. Do I see traffic all the time driving up and down the streets? No, but some of the major streets do have some traffic. You do see some traffic on Eastern Avenue, parts of Sunset, parts of St. Rose Parkway. So you are gonna see some traffic because more and more people are moving here. So do keep that in mind. Now, if you need to commute every single day, yes, that can affect you. If you work from home, certainly it's gonna be a different factor. But 
there can be some traffic here. People have mentioned that to me. Now, if you're coming from California, no. Let's not even compare this at all. That is a whole different breed of traffic. Okay, next on the list is limited public transit. If you're thinking about moving to Clark County, the Las Vegas Valley, and any of these places, whether it's Henderson or, gosh, Boulder City further out, Mesquite even further out, well, you're going to need a car in most cases. Getting around in public transportation would require that you live in areas where the public transportation serves the, those routes, right? The bus systems and things like that. I don't find it super convenient if you're looking for that. So if you're coming from Seattle, Washington, Portland, Oregon, you're coming from Chicago, New York City, it's most likely that you're going to need a car. All right, the next item on the cons list is going to be, are you ready? It's going to be the weather as compared to Summerlin. Why do I bring this up? Well, here's the deal. If you're thinking about moving here, you're already aware of the weather in Las Vegas. You've got three hot months a year, give or take a few weeks here and there. Generally speaking, most people ask me about the weather as compared to somewhere else in Southern Nevada, right? In Southwest Nevada. So they're mostly talking about Summerlin. It is generally cooler in Summerlin because you're close to the mountain. You're close to Red Rock. So it will be warmer here. You're further into the desert. You could, you could say it like that uh, to describe it. So it is gonna be warmer here than Summerlin. Is it warmer than Las Vegas? Well, Summerlin is in Las Vegas, but I think a lot of people are just asking me about Las Vegas right next door. And I look on the maps and I don't see it's such a, it being such a big deal until you get all the way up to Summerlin, which is not exactly next door, right? It could be 30 or more miles to get to Summerlin, 40 miles. It depends on where you live. Okay, so those are the main cons that have come to my attention when talking about this area. Some things I've read that other people mentioned were things like housing prices. Um, you know, housing prices are in flux. Prices fluctuate. There are waves, there are ebbs and flows, housing prices go up and down. If you're comparing the housing prices in Henderson specifically to say Las Vegas, well it really depends where you live because as I mentioned before, there are kind of houses for everybody. You have brand new neighborhoods, you have very expensive high-end gated communities, you have McDonald Ranch, you have Anthem, those high-end neighborhoods, yes, those are going to be over a million dollars. But then the further out you go, you have many more opportunities. The further east you go, you have many more opportunities for homes that might be within your budget. So it really depends on your budget, your needs, the size of the house you want, the features you want, do you want a swimming pool, do you want tennis courts close by? There's so many different factors. So when housing prices come up, well, I notice that a lot of times people are comparing it to places like the Midwest, and that is going to be quite a bit different. Okay, so that is our pros and cons list of Henderson, Nevada. So if you're thinking about moving out here, well, you already know what to do. You're watching my videos. You're gonna reach out to the team, okay? Because the team cannot wait to help you. Seriously, we love this. Send me an email, send me a text message, give me a call on the phone, head down to the calendar in the link, and let's uh, get you on the calendar so we can start the ball rolling. And of course, before you leave, make sure you tap that little subscribe button and click that little bell. I know you're gonna go on to watch the next video that's gonna appear on the screen, but I do wanna make sure you leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about Henderson or Vegas and what you wanna know. I know there's something out there you wanna know. For example, did you know we have this awesome cactus garden? This place is so cool. I'm gonna go take a personal tour of this as soon as I'm done. So, make sure you get out here when you are out here next time. And of course, the team will be showing you around. So if you wanna see it, just let them know. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.